Okay, we're going to learn some science here. My first degree when I went to university was in biology, so I know a little bit about what I'm talking about, but more than that, after painting for 30 years, I've learned it by experience. How to get bright colors looking really bright and to make your eyes just sing when you see it. Complementary colors, we talked about that before. How to mix them, how to get grays. The reason these beautiful things happen is because when your eye sees color and it sees a beautiful red, okay, that red's a little bit lighter than the one we had there, but it doesn't matter, we're still gonna see it. When we see a beautiful red next to its complementary color, green, we are going to do something that is absolutely exciting, and that is we are stimulating the rods and the cones in the backs of your eye, and the rods and the cones, they start to vibrate quicker because they want that color to mix. They want it to come to gray can't do that and so they see both of those colors much much brighter than they were before so when we have a green next to a red both the green and the red seem to be brighter and more vibrant now if we could do it with green and red surely that can happen with blue and orange let's see what happens so we have a little bit of orange and this is some I did not premix I just took it out of the tube so I could show you the effect we have some orange there and the color that we are going to put next to it is blue because blue is the complement. And when you put the blue next to the orange, all of a sudden, both of them start looking so much brighter. It's not magic, it's science. You can see it. Now I'm telling you, when you're learning this, you can't just watch me. You have to get your own paints out and try it for yourself. That's the only way you're going to have the experience of learning to be able to do that. So let's see what happens now with the purple and the yellow. Here we have our yellow. And I have a little tube purple um, so that you can see how it's going to look. And there it is, it's already making the gray, look at that. It's a beautiful gray color, that green tendencies in it. Because remember, to get the purple, we had um, blue and red, and so we're gonna see some of that effect. And each one of those is, now I wanna do it again because I'm not quite satisfied. So put down that purple, and we're going to put down the yellow beside it and see what happens. So if you're ever wondering, how can I make this image that I'm doing really pop off and really come to the eye of the beholder? I'm telling you, complementary colors does it every time. All right, so purple and yellow. Now, if we mix these, you're going to see a beautiful thing happen. Let's just... It's almost green but of course it would be because there's blue in it from the purple you could use that on the underside of a leaf to make a lovely shadow so complementary colors when you put them next to each other they excite the rods and the cones in the back of your eye and they make everything seem more brilliant you can learn this